Gracia. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 All right. Um, Pedro. Everyone here, I'm sure, has been touched by his life. He was an amazing, incredible, interesting world unto himself, and he was a uh, surreal Zen master. He was a uh, homeboy. He was a uh, brother, a uh, uh, lover, sometimes. Uh, someone who drops you on your head and spins you around like a dreidel. And he was a New York motherfucker, a, a hipster to the topmost, and um, a man ray, and, and Salvador Dali. I mean, I, I, when I met Pedro, this was when I met him on 42nd Street. He was selling condoms, poems and condoms for sale, one size fits all. And I was coming from Brooklyn. I was living like a quasi middle class, you know, reeking life trying to keep me out of drugs, and um, I come on the train looking for a job, and I see this guy on the corner by the library, and I said, oh, fuck, man. and I start talking to him, and he tells me, yeah, I'm Puerto Rican, when he's a poem, he yeah, you got a dollar, yeah, okay. So, you know, I give it up, one, two, three, and he starts, like, you know, amazing, amazing stuff. I was like, what, what, what the hell is going on? So he told me about the New Rican Poets Cafe for the first time, and, and I started going down there, you know, coming from Brooklyn, Kings Highway, went down to the New Rican in 74, I think I made my first appearance there graduating, and, um, you know, I was like a shy little girl, you know, sitting at the bar, listening to those crazy, mo I was, I was, I was, Pedro Pietri was up there, um, Miguel Pinheiro was up there, um, I got in, of course, la, 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 and Bimbo Rivas, and Sandra Maria Estevez, and Nancy Mercado, wherever she is, and Willie Correa, who I then married, was in the sound booth, who I didn't remember for years, but now I remember him, like this figure there, going like this and like this, and like he's being busy as he always is. And Papo, you know, so I'm here, and we're really blessed to have known this man, and he's touched my life. And uh, he came to my first art opening, because I also do paintings, and he had that stick, you know, with that, with that point dexter thing, that little white, like when you point as a teacher, you know, so he was pointing, you came in, yeah man, you came in like, you know, like a big shot that he always was and is, you know, and uh, it was really fun. Anyway, so I want to introduce Ratso Harris, so wonderful bass player that I'm privileged to play with every once in a while, and um, we're gonna just make some stuff up for you, some uh, poetry, okay? So this one's gonna be um, a bass poem. El sangre de mi bajo Está nacido en Puerto Rico, hecho de madera. Strings when plucked makes cuckoos jump out of their nested flight. To romp a little and shake their butts con un sudor that makes them brillante debajo de la luna, shiny in the moonlight. El bajo, the bass, sabes hablar, knows how to speak in lenguas, multiple tongues, without palabras. Pero chino, inglés, polaco, africano, español, and takes your naked heart out for a flight. To days that are nights and nights that are days. Para días que son noche y noche que son días and keeps you shaking out of your dormant skin to break through the pain of regret. Y besarte con un cariño. El bajo, the bass. Dum, 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 Has a secret aura, a wizard hidden between the frets where gokis are nestled in the neck, and in the opening of its mouth, 
has just one hidden agenda to make you loose, set you free. The base carries its own remedy, its own anointment, brujeria. So when they ask me, why do I read my poems with a base or two? I say my heart and rhythm knows better than me que no puede ser suficiente estas cosas. No, never enough. Base. I'm gonna do a poem in three parts for Pedro now. I, I wrote a lot of poems about him. He really inspired me because uh, he was so free and he was so like open, you know? He like really, when he gave himself to you as a friend, it was like, Yo estoy aquí, take me, where are we going? Yeah, you know, it's like, that's it. So, you know, he was a crazy guy. I really loved him, okay. And he loved doo-wop, too. I don't know how many people heard him sing doo-wop. He was a crazy man. Um, okay. Um, why do fools fall in love? Why do birds sing? Oh, why? Tell me why. Why do they fall? in love tell me why while you sleep in the night he approaches like a headless horseman tracking you down head tucked in pants perhaps where angels fear to tread is this our agony the pitter patter splattering of emotion gone buoy out of the hands of control locomotive train in vain in vain in vain this blood rushes out and in and in and out, and so I come to you, my love. My hands above my head. It's better in Spanish. How about Spanglish? Yo soy, yo soy, tu vienes, yo vengo. A ti for two, mi amor, corazón bellaco. Plantao encima de mi cabeza. Till cuando I met you, I felt like a little bitty baby, still wet from birth, my heart fresh like stewy sancocho, waiting for the platanos of your lips to sugar my sauce. Of your midnight starry eyes penetrating my mind to eruption, when in the blink of an eye I felt my life begin. So tell me. Why do birds sing? Oh, why? Why do we fall in love? So open up, open up your heart and let this cabrona imbecile fool lose my cool. Ha, ha. Is this another case of mistaken identity? Who's losing what, really? What kind of co-tight relationship are we treading? Danger as you rappel down into my dungeon. Foolishness where the head must pop off the neck. Blood perking, heart filling up like a bloody basketball, like a throbbing, sobbing tongue that needs taming. What it needed when it needed it. Tell me why do birds sing? Oh, why? Why do they fall in love? was you. <laughs> this is another poem for uh, Pedro in three parts. I wrote it different times. And uh, we're going to start it off doing a little flamingo. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, standing in the microphone. No, no, it's fine. There was a voice when why do birds sing? Oh, why? Tell me, why do 
Dante Paulina says, Reverend Petre, my love, say love, no, nada mas. In other words, my fine feathered friends on planet Earth, there is nothing better to do. Hello, spring back, join forces, and, doesn't, and it doesn't go away even when you're done. Because in this existential void, fog, you, old foggy fog, and directions, domain, this Puerto Rico remains and is always within my arms distance, always here. My fruit, my seed, in three languages, my trilingual root, all dredged up from the ground. Your bone is a bone I cannot do without. Stuck in the middle of my medulla oblongata, past madness con gladness, ejecting rain from brain. Let's all climb down into your boat, O oh Capitan, setting sail for that island in your mind. Where pink was never really pink, and blue was never really blue, but black was always, always really, really, really black. That is really a city in the future where Spanglish is spoken by the masses of the asses, where mangoes hang off street signs and babies never cry without also cracking a laugh. I see red dawn and I want to paint it black. Pedro is singing to the sky. And I'm hiding my eyes till sunrise. The wind is making faces, dancing naked in black. He is throwing condoms from a stage to his audience. Is this a dream? Tables are speaking in Italian, spinning out of control. Chairs are moving closer to the door. Things seem to be flying about. Crazy things always seem to happen around that guy. I see you red and I want to paint it black, 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 black. Morning skies turn black, Mona Lisa turns black. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa. My hands turn black. Tears, lagrimas negras, also turn black. And when everything is black, it is quiet and still. And that too is perfect because Pedro and Negrito liked it like that. <laughs> <laughs>